Hey everybody, it is Gamer number 98, and I'm on my Wii menu yet again for my third Let's Play. Yeah, it's not much different from last time. The only real difference is I moved Sin and Punishment over to the SD card because I was running low on space on the system memory. So anyway, you'd think I'd be Let's Playing another Wii game, wouldn't you? Well, no. I'm actually going to Let's Play a Nintendo 64 game. And of course, it's going to be on Virtual Console because I don't own an original version of this game. Can you guess which one it is? No, it is not Paper Mario, nor Majora's Mask. It is Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Let's boot this baby up. Yeah, I can spin with you as well. And there we go. So the main reason I don't own this in cartridge form is because, well, it's quite rare. I have a hard time finding it. And yeah, I'm using the classic controller for this. Once upon a time, there was a heart-shaped planet named the Ripple Star. Funnily enough, it wasn't red on the surface. It was home to many cute fairies, but of course there were cute things in the universe. When suddenly, a black bl ink blob appeared and tried to make the place the setting for Disney's Epic Mickey 2. Quick, you gotta take this crystal! Out of here! Okay, I'm going! And try not to get it shattered, otherwise a plot will happen! I must get away from here! Oh no, they're after me! Hey, you can't get away from here! No, I don't want to be in Epic Mickey 2! You're gonna have to, bitch! Now give us that crystal! No! No, you're breaking it! Ah, you broke it! Great, now a plot's gonna happen! Kirby 64, the crystal shards. Okay, that's my 100% file on the left. In the middle's my practice file. On the right will be what I'll be doing for this Let's Play. And guess, and check this out. When you delete a save file in this game, you actually get a countdown where you actually have time to cancel the deletion. And no other game will ever do that. And with, in the options, you can actually change the border that appears on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to set to this one, because I like that. The mini games, I'll cover those at a later date. For now, let's just start the game. Do you know how to use Kirby's copy ability? I do, but you lot probably won't, so... Here you go. The B button inhales an enemy. The B button again exhales the enemy. The B button inhales. Wait, didn't we just learn that? And you press down on the D-pad to swallow it. When Kirby swallows an enemy with a special power... Kirby gets that power. The standard for all Kirby games is the copy ability. And you, if you don't want a special power... The C button L, the C buttons and L and R lift it, and then press B to throw it. The L and R buttons on the classic controller do the same, but instead of the C buttons, it's the X button that does the same. Now, what was really interesting about Kirby 64 was this right here. You could combine copy abilities. You could combine them, and you know, experiment with the different kinds. And you get some pretty interesting results, like when you combine fire and needle, you get fire arrows. Very Zelda-ish, of course. When you combine the needle and the stone ability, you get yourself a lovely little drill. And that's pretty much the basis for this little tutorial, so now we can get on with the game. No way! Ah, what a beautiful night! Wait, wow! Hey! You hit- Oh wait, no, you heard! I'll forgive- Ow! I was hit with a diamond! As the sky prism shattered again? No! It was the power crystal! Oh. Hey, look! I got a piece! Yay! Let's put them together! And- Oh hey, look! It got bigger! Yay! Hey, I'm gonna go with you and we'll get them all! Uh, are you sure you can do that? Hey, no problem, we just go! 
Uh, okay. Let's get going. And look, it's morning. Yay. Level one is Popstar. Home to Kirby. Of course. So, there's a total of six main planets. And they have either four or five, three or four levels each with a boss at the end. And there's three crystal shards per level. And one per boss. There's 72 of them in the game. Now, let's explain the controls. This is with the classic controller. A jumps. If you press A and then keep pressing A, you float. Unlike in other Kirby games, you can't float for an unlimited time. So, Kirby gets tired and poof. When you, pre when you hold down on the D-pad and press A, you do a slide. It destroys enemies. The B inhales, but you already know about that. And that's about it. So, have fun. Oh, that was brilliant. No, that was even worse. N no. Come on, I practice this level, I shouldn't suck. Alright, stars. You see that little meter at the t bottom of the screen that fills up each time out you get a star? Ooh, fire sword. When you press up on the D-pad with one, you can hold it like this, and when you hold it, you can throw it. Let's get rid of that. No use, really. Oh, and check this out. Inhale a brontal butt, press X, and you can fly! Kind of. Ow. And there's our first crystal shard. You're going to need to get all these if you want to get to the best ending. Some of them are very tough to f figure out. So, yeah, I was explaining that little bar at the bottom of the screen. Well, now it's been replaced with this mid-boss's HP bar. There's a mid-boss in almost every level of the game. So that bar at the bottom of the screen is how many stars you've got. When you collect 30 stars, you get a 1-up. Simple as that. Headshot, quite literally. And also those circles are your, well, your energy. When it re when it off depletes, then you are dead, dead, dead. Bombs? You want it? It's yours. Okay. Now this black thing here. This is something you're gonna see a lot. There's a lot of stuff. If you see a colored object like that, you need to have the copy ability that usually matches the color to get rid of the obstacle, and you find a crystal shard. Now onward. Oh, wow, I like this. This is pretty. Oh, it glitters. I'm so having this to myself. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Well, oh, well, I got a crystal shard. Wait, how do I know they're called that? Oh, no, no, you can't kill me. I'm too cute to die. So, hey, look over there. It's Waddle Dee. Hey, over there. What are you doing lining up? Uh, I'm not Waddle Dee. I'm... Waddle do! Oh my God! Waddle D evolved into Waddle do. Why didn't I press that B button? Merely because it would skip that cutscene. And look at this. This is an absolute joke. <laughs> look at this. Just bomb the life out of him. And you're defeated. Hey, look, Crystal Shard. Oh, that's it. I'm out of here. Yay, we did it! Yo, Waddle D! See you later! Hey, wait, no! Um, that's it! I made my decision! I'm coming with you because that way I won't be seen as an enemy anymore and you won't have to inhale me! Because I'm innocent that way! Okay, a little bonus game you get at the end of every time you clear a level. Kirby starts moving left to right and you press the A button to make him stop. And then you start swinging his arms and you know, you can either jump further or jump closer. So try and grab an item. I grabbed these enemy cards. There's a lot of them to collect in the game and collecting them mostly takes patience. They're basically, you know, enemy bio cards. I won't be collecting them all on this pro f on this playthrough, but I will be showing them off later. So, on to it to the second level. Bombs? You want it? Let's combine bomb and bomb. 
and we can fire missiles. Missiles! 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 Bombs! Or in this case, missiles! And you know what I gotta say, this game just looks really good. For an N64 game. Even though it's... Even though it has 3D graphics, it's still a 2D platformer by... Off... By heart. Wait, could, does she, Oh, I don't want to point this out, but I have to. I can't resist. Kirby's mouth when he fires three missiles does not look right. You know what? Let's get rid of this so I don't have to have that thought in my head ever again. Get in my belly. Oh, this is cool. Don't you dare avoid... Cord. Uh, oh well. Zappity zappity. Let's combine these two. I never pressed the B button! Uh. Uh. Oh yeah. If you combine... If you combine Spark and Ice, you get pretty much the ultimate copy ability. Watch this. Yeah, you never die. Ow. What? Hooray for game break. You bombed my snowman enemy. We've got some stars up here. I don't know if I'll be able to get them all without falling. No, I will not. Even though I never tried it. Hey, Waddle D. Hey, come have a ride on this thing. I'll just wheel you over there. Don't fall now, Kirby. Okay, watch. Keep your eyes peeled because there's a crystal shard down below and you have to pretty much risk your life to get to it. See that trail of stars? There's where it is. Okay, quickly grab it and quickly float back up to the platform. Okay, don't stay in the middle. Go to the right for a one up and the left for a maximum tomato if you want. Mid boss. The slide does not harm mid bosses, by the way. Meanwhile, in the forest. Hi, my name is Andelwin, and I'm an artist. One day, I was just painting fan art when suddenly this thing fell from the sky. It looked like a diamond. It was so pretty, so I kept it to myself because I'll be a stereotypical girl that way. Oh no! I was attacked by a black eyeball! Hey! Whoa! Who are you? Say hello to... Andelion! The evil version! Mwah! Go get my painting minions! Bombs? Hey, don't bomb my... Don't bomb my paintings! Eat spider! Wait, that's not a spider. Oh, it is. The interesting thing is, she actually creates enemies from past Kirby games. And I have no idea what that is. Go, my whatever the hell you are! Oh, you wrecked it! That's it! Try this on for size! Yay! Go, mini boss from Kirby's Dreamland 2! Oh, you! You even destroyed that! Then try this on for size! Go, Dark Matter! They say that art can be really hurtful! And now I proved it! Now go, Dark Matter! Give him something to attack you with! That's all you got? Come on, give me the- Whoa, I nearly caught something then. This boss can take a little while because there's a lot of paintings to go through. And here comes hard to avoid attack. 
<laughs> I dodged him with a slight. Ow! <laughs> no, I called nothing. You hear me? I did not call anything. No, you killed it. That's it. I'm gonna get you myself. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> That's just too funny. All you have to do is touch her and she's defeated.